Today I'm showing you how you can make your normal iPad setup look just like this. Hey everyone, it's Andrew and welcome back to the channel. Before we get into actually creating the setup, we need to download a few items before we get started. All the links in the video will be in the pinned comment or in the video's description and don't forget to subscribe. We'll start first with the App Store. The wallpaper that we're going to be using is from an app called Unsplash. The app itself literally has thousands of wallpapers to choose from. And once you find the wallpaper that you want to use, all you have to do is click right here and save it to your Photos app. Next, for the weather app, I'm using an app called Not Boring Weather. It is paid, but I think it's a really cool look and it gives a nice aesthetic to the setup. If you don't want to pay for it, just use the Apple weather widget, that will suffice. You also need to download the Shortcuts app made by Apple, and a personal preference of mine is downloading the Uversion Bible app. We'll also need to get the app icons, and you do have to purchase them. I've searched far and wide for an icon pack that is both better and cheaper, and let me tell you, you won't find it. This is the best icon pack that I've used, period. You get 120 icons with three sets, one being in black, the other being in white, and the last colorful option. Any setup that I've done has included this icon pack. It's made by a creator named Kush Jane. You also get six wallpapers that match the setup as well. But for me, this is a must have for my setup. I do have a link with a black set of icons that are free, so you can use those if you like. And for this setup, we're going to be using the white icon pack. The icons are from a website called Gumroad. And typically you'll have to download the file and it's compressed in a zip file. If you're not familiar with this, all you have to do to uncompress the file is long press on it until this pops up and select uncompress. Then all of the items within this folder will be available to you. Once you have access to the folder, you're going to look for the white icons, and then you're gonna to wanna to save your favorite icons that we're gonna be using later when we set up our shortcuts. All you have to do is select the icon and select the send button at the top. Then you'll select save image. And I'm going to be using the Apple Store, the Apple TV app, calendar, home, mail, reminders, messages, iMovie, notes, YouTube, files, and FaceTime. These are the iPad apps that I use the most. And if there's not an icon for an app that I use, I just use the app library and just leave it off of my home screen. Now we're ready to begin. Go to the lock screen, long press on the screen, and select the little plus icon at the bottom right. Our wallpaper is saved in our photos app. So select photos, then select the wallpaper. It color matched the time to the color of the wallpaper, and I like how it looks. You can adjust the size of the font on the time. If you tap on it, I'll slide it all the way to the right to make it thicker. You may not know this, but if you have a very specific color that you want your font to match, you select this option here that has a bunch of colors, then select this icon here and hover over the color you want to use as your font. Then once you are done, select add, and set as pair. Next, we can remove all of the apps and widgets that are currently on our home screen. Long press the home screen and delete the widgets first. Next, tap on the dots at the bottom and uncheck the second home screen and remove it by hitting the minus icon. Then we'll have to just delete the rest of the apps individually. Don't remove them fully, just delete them from your home screen. Now staying in this mode of editing the home screen, we're going to add all of the widgets that we're gonna use for this setup. Tap the plus icon to get to the section where all the widgets live. Then look for the Not Boring Weather app, slide until you see the large weather widget, and select Add Widget. Hit the plus icon again and go to Calendar, then slide until you see this widget here. I just like the minimal aspect of it especially when it's in dark mode. Just looks really clean. Now this is just a personal preference of mine, so we'll click the plus icon again, and we'll go to the Bible app, and we'll select the widget with the verse of the day. And again, one more time, we'll hit the plus icon, and we're gonna add a clock widget 
Right now, this widget is only found in iOS 17.2 beta version one or two, whichever we're on. So you probably won't have that widget. So just use this clock widget until the other one ends up coming out. And that's it for widgets. Now to complete this setup, we have to add our icons from the pack that we bought with the Shortcuts app. It's a little bit tedious to get through this, so let's get started with it. Go into Shortcuts and tap the plus icon. There are a lot of options on the right, but we just need to select Open App. Then tap on the word App. We want to open up for this first one, the TV app, and select the information icon. Then we'll tap Add to Home Screen, and if you want your icons to have a name removed from the bottom, just hit the X to delete that text in that field. Now tap here and select Choose Photo or Choose File. Select your saved photo of the TV app. Remember, we saved those earlier on in the video. Then select Use and then Add, and it's going to jump you over into the home screen where you can see your app icon. If you tap on it, it goes right to the app location that you specified. So when I tap on it here, it should go to the TV app. For some reason, when you tap on it, it gives you a shortcuts pop-up. I have no idea how to get rid of this. And also native notifications for let's say like the mail app don't work with this shortcut. So you won't be able to see the little banner that tells you how many unread messages or emails that you have. The last thing is to make sure you rearrange your icons into the way that is displayed on the video. And we're done. And that's how you can customize on iPad OS. It's a nice clean setup for your home screen and it kind of refreshes your experience with iPad OS in my opinion. I have a ton of other videos on how to customize on iOS, so check that out. And as always, thanks for watching, God bless, and I will see you on the next video.